We have a question from Joe. I'm looking to set some strength and fitness goals to work towards for my 65th birthday. So we're the same age, Joe. My idea is run sub eight minute mile. That's nothing wrong with that. Overhead push press body weight. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, 10 pull-ups, again, not bad. 100 push-ups. That seems out of line with some of the other ones, but it's a good round number, so I understand that. Trap bar deadlift in excess of 300. Bike, 65 miles. Uh, buy a really good bike, it'll be a lot easier. I do not back squat, but perhaps a goblet squat standard would be nice. Um, yeah, I have that six minute drill where you, uh, every 30 seconds, uh, you, so you sit at the bottom and at every 30 seconds you stand up and then sit right back down. So when you start, you do one goblet squat. Then you sit down, uh, you sit at the bottom of the squat for 30 seconds. And then when the 30 second beat goes off, you stand up, back down. When you hit the one minute, stand up, back down, 30 seconds, stand up, back down. Um, you probably get away with just doing three minutes, but six minutes is standard. I will occasionally time myself in the mile. Presently, I run about 9.20 for the four to five miles. I am confident 9.20 run. Now, Joe, if you're running at 9.20 pace in the mile, I mean, you are probably shuffling, um, um, and that's fine. I would like to have known a history. If you have hip or knee or ankle injuries, uh, but at 920, it's, uh, you know, you're right on the border of it. You probably get as much out of just walking fast. I'm not being a jerk. I'm just telling you straight up. I'm confident achieving the bike and run, but worry about injuries and trying to up my lifts. I can push up, push press 125 now and trap bar deadlift about 225. I follow an easy strength protocol and really never attempt lifts that I might fail. Injury means no work, not an option. Any suggestions on realistic goals? I looked at some standards, but trust your opinion the most. Perhaps best three to five rep versus a max. I'm presently doing the workout generator in the AM and lifting three days a week in the afternoon. That's a lot of volume. One lift heavy each session while practicing the other movements. Am I chasing too many rabbits? Yeah, my answer would be absolutely you're chasing too many rabbits. But having said that, you're trying to do a series of goals for a 65th birthday. Um, I agree with you. The one, the, there's two I don't necessarily think are going to give you a ton of value to chase. The overhead push press for body weight one. Um, you don't give us a body weight. Uh, and the 100 push up one. Uh, and the only reason I pick on those two is that doing 100 push ups does, I mean, the more and more I coach, the more and more I, I don't like high rep push ups because of that grinding. I call it like it's a saw, the sawing damage that it seems to do to this little spot right there. I mean, it's right there for a lot of people. And then uh, for others, it's like right in, inside the armpit. It's right there. So the pain is I'm touching muscle here and I'm trying to touch a uh, joint there. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. Now, if your goal was to do 100 push-ups, then you do it, but then you're done when you do the goal. Uh, for the overhead push press, um, see, okay, so you got a good running goal, good running goal. You got a good biking goal. Um, if you do the 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 pull ups and the trap bar deadlift and the go and the goblet squat test, that's a nice little series of tests. You might be able to knock it out in one, maybe two sessions uh, at the most. If you're just you just have to do. Uh, some kind of overhead press thing, then I would say the overhead push press and uh, abandon the, the push-ups. I'm not saying the push-ups are bad. I'm not saying the overhead push jerk is bad. I'm just saying for what you're trying to do, I just see that as issues. I could be completely wrong, but when you said chasing too many rabbits, I, I think you are. Um, I think you'll get the the, the goblet squat one, just by wanting to do it, I think the trap bar deadlift, you might just need a couple of practices with heavier days. Um, the bike and the run, those will just be, you just got to do them. And then the pull-up and the overhead push jerk, uh, push press one, those will take some practice. And that's where your real focus is going to have to be. 
uh, I would set up a pull-up bar somewhere in the house and do as many rounds of two, three pull-ups uh, a day as you can. You know, just one, two, three, step away, come back in an hour, one, two, step away, come back in an hour, one, two, three, or four, or whatever, and just grease that groove on the pull-up. Yeah, Joe, I like the idea. Um, my goal uh, at this age is to uh, break the American records in the snatch, clean, and jerk, and total. So it's interesting because I think we're both change, chasing really, really solid goals. And uh, good luck to you. I hope I see you on the other side. Thank you.